Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. Today we have another Magic the Gathering video and this time featuring a deck that I like to call In a Flash. And the reason it's called In a Flash? Well, simply because it's an Azorius Flash Control deck. Yes, we are back to the good old days. Some good old degenerate control for a degenerate control player such as myself. And yeah, you know me. I love control. I have to play it. Hard control such an, as, you know, Azorius is just my cup of tea. It's exactly what I want in a card game because I love making people miserable. I'm a sad human being. That's basically it. And hopefully you guys will enjoy watching this, uh, you know, <laughs> the matches because let me tell you, they are spicy. But I do have to warn you, the first match is super grindy. So if you're not into super grindy matches, uh, you can skip right into the second match i have time steps in all of my description in every single video so you can just skip to that if you don't want if you don't want to watch a super grindy match but yeah i'm all for it and i just in love with azorius and basically i got the idea for this deck after watching a croakies video where he built his own azorius control deck revolving around the, the new card no more lies which is an Azorius mana counter spell that, you know, counter a spell unless its controller plays three mana. And if the spell is countered this way, you exile it instead of putting it into the graveyard. So overall, insanely good card. Of course, you have four copies of it in an Azorius control deck. And basically, yeah, pretty much you can expect. My deck is totally different though. Well, not totally different, but a lot different because I'm running a flash control deck, which revolving around flash based cards. So... Let's get into the deck list because I'm super excited to share this deck with you. It took me some quite uh, quite some time to refine, but hopefully you will enjoy it, the final result as much as I did. So, since it's a flash-based deck, naturally we're running Errant and Giada, which is a really good card. It's a 3-mana 3-3 three, three with flash and flying, and you may look at top card of your library at any time. And you may cast a spell with flesh or flying from the top of your library. So basically a must kill on scythe. Most of the time it will die once you play it, but it's so good because it's on flash speed. But if it doesn't die, it's a really nice attacker in a control deck because you get to play it on your own terms and then just attack with it whenever you want and you still have mana just to counter or do whatever, right? So it's a really good card. It's just a solid unit. Even the effect is not that useful all the time. It's still really good because it's a must kill card and just a really solid unit on a flash speed. So really great card all in all. Now, in terms of other flash unit, we got Tishana's Tidebinder because I literally cannot build a single blue deck without adding a, three copies of her at least. <laughs> that's, that's honestly it. This card is nuts. This card is nuts. Watching your opponents concede after you counter their, well not counter, just counter the activated ability of the Atraxa or a Tali or even an enchantment, they just concede. And that's the best feeling you can ever have as a control player. That's how you know you did good because you made your opponent rage. That's how it works as a control player. If you're a control player, you know. And Tishana's Tidebinder does exactly that. Also giving you a really solid body as well. Now, uh, what else we have in Flash? Of course, the Wandering Emperor, naturally, crazy good. I felt like three copies were enough. I don't think you need a fourth copy. Uh, if you feel like you need to put a fourth copy, go for it. I didn't feel like it. And of course, we got the Horned Lock Whale. And one copy because it's not really good against aggro, but it's really good against, you know, pretty much anything else. So one copy and one copy of the sideboard, which we'll go over in a minute. And in terms of removal, we have the classic white shenanigan tree. We got the Get Lost, the temporary lockdown, which is giganauts in the current meta. Every single aggro player are in shamble, in shambles. And we got, where was it? We got the Sunfall, three copies, of course. And three copies of March of Otherworldly Light. Initially, I had two. I decided to, ha to add one more because this card is so good. And honestly, it just can deal with artifacts, which there are quite a lot right now. I mean, cheap artifact, especially the Forge, the Orbrask Forge, which is quite common right now. So we really want to have three copies of March available to you. Also, you can deal with a pretty big token, relatively cheap. I mean, only for one mana. And basically super flexible cards ever since we, you know, since we are running uh, 27 lands, you'll have enough mana 
most of the time to pay for whatever you need. So really good card overall, three copies it is. In terms of card draw, we got the, you know, the usual Chad four copies of Memory Deluge, insanely good card. And we got two copies of Intrude the Mind, which is insane. It's literally draw two and create a three three top tier most of the time, if not draw three and create a two two top tier, which is just as insane. <laughs> it's just as insane. I mean, two two flyer and drawing three cards or, you know, uh, three three flyer and drawing two cards is crazy. It's always crazy. And yeah crazy good card the only reason we run two copies again because it's pretty suck against aggro it's pretty bad also we have like uh four copies of memory delusion so we don't want to crowd our entire hand with uh card draws but yeah two copies did the work phenomenal card highly recommend it really powerful card now uh of course we have celestus which is the i believe the only card we haven't gone through uh pretty obvious we are playing hard control, we have much to cycle, Celestus does every single thing we want, it gives us mana, it gives us, you know, the option to cycle, which can come really, really relevant, really clutch in certain occasions, and of course, it heals us. Really great. Awesome card, well fitting into every single control deck, so we put it in. Now, in terms of sideboard, we do have, you know, some anti-aggro shenanigan tree, uh, two copies of Elspeth Smite, the final copy of Temporary Lockdown, and we got Aurelia's Vindicator, which can come in handy on certain matchups, and we got one more copy of Farewell. When I mean one copy of Farewell, we don't have more Farewell. <laughs> so one more, uh, you know, one copy of Farewell, that's it. But still, does the job. Now, uh, what else do we have? We have two copy of Negate, in case we're playing against slower uh, type decks. We got two copies of Devious Cover-Up, in case we are playing, again, slower decks. It gives us tons of value. You get to cycle back four cards from your graveyard. You can take whatever you want, and it's really, really good. You can even uh, take one, you know, another Devious Cover-Up that was in the graveyard, or you can just, you know, you can just uh, shuffle back a removal, whatever you need. It's more value, it's a great card, so you should definitely play it against slower matches, definitely save me a few matches. Uh, destroy Evil, because you can't have enough removal, ex uh, you know, especially against Sheldred. So this is basically why we put Destroy Evil. Also, the option to destroy enchantment is always nice in the current meta. And two copies of Reenact the Crime, which I must admit I haven't really gotten to play a lot, <laughs> because this card is quite specific, but it is really good in the matches, it works. So let's actually read it, because it is new. Uh, basically, form mana card, exile target non-land card in a graveyard that was put there from anywhere this turn, copy it. You may cast the copy without paying its mana cost. So, really good card, again, if you're playing against, uh, you know, a really uh, late game opponent, basically that playing big cards, maybe play Breach the Universe or something like that, you can pretty much counter it with, like, playing Reenact the Crime, so it's, it's pretty fun, it's pretty fun, you can play your own. And really exciting card, I really love it, you can cut it if you feel like it, it doesn't see play often, but when it does, it's super great and super fun. So, you know, to your decision. Now, of course, the one more copy of the Horned Lock Whale, in case we are playing against a late deck opponent, and one copy of Holebreaker Horror. Again, Flesh Unit, synergizes really well into late game opponent, synergizes really well with our deck, and goes really hard against late game uh, opponents, late game decks. So, one copy, really good card, uh, exceptionally good. And that's pretty much it in terms of the sideboard and the main deck, so... Yeah, we went through everything, you know, lands are these. We do have one Mirex. I might consider putting one more, even though I didn't really use the Mirex I've had. I still think uh, one copy, uh, two copies of Mirex can do just fine to this deck. I do have two copies of Field of Ruin because there are a lot of man lands running around right now. So two copies of Field of Ruin will do you just fine. I did have Blast Zone initially. Uh, it's just not good enough in the certain meta. Um, so many people are playing aggro and you cannot afford to waste mana to put counters on it. So it's really, really, really bad. I I don't like the Blast Zone <laughs> in the current meta, at least. So, yeah, that's pretty much it for the deck. We rambled for 
10 minutes now exactly, which is phenomenal. So yeah, I'm just about on time. I don't want to bore you too much. I hope I was, uh, you know, uh, pretty clear about what this deck does while still being, you know, kind of quick about it. I it's important for me to, you know, let you know uh, what, you know, my think about my thinking process and how do I build my decks and why do I why do I put every card in the deck. Hopefully, you guys will enjoy it. If not, you can just skip straight into the gameplay. But I do put my heart and soul into making this, you know, the, my videos into deck guys. Well, even though it's not really a deck, I just, I'm me showing you deck because I'm not that good at building decks and magic right now. Uh, but hopefully you guys will enjoy them. But that's all for now. So thank you guys so much for watching and I'll catch you on the next one. Going second as usual, as usual. Oh, this is a really solid hand. We keep. I mean, Untapped land and the Mirex. This is great. Uh, Zender's Lounge. Okay, so it could be a Jeskai, uh, but possibly a Traxa. I think more likely. Unfortunate, we are in the draw. But it's honestly such a regular occurrence now. <laughs> oh, so it is a Jeskai. Uh, Jeskai, I mean, uh, Grixis. My bad, my bad. Okay, pretty sick. Wait, forest? No, wait, this is a five color. This can't be a Traxa. I mean, you Atraxa decks don't run this. A swamp. Uh that is interesting. Okay. I mean, if it is a Traxa, we do have the Tide Binder. Invasion of Zendikar, we won't counter that. There's literally not a single point in countering it. I do not care about the ramp. I care about the other stuff he's going to play. So it's... Yeah, we need a fourth land. We're gonna play this. Into a memory deluge. I think this is a Traxa. Quilty of Gex. Uh, one, two... Okay, this yeah, this has to be countered. Just checked he doesn't have enough mana to pay for it. So this is a Traxa reanimator, right? This gotta be it. So now it's a good turn to play the tap land. And pass. Yeah, this is a Traxa reanimator. 100%. I think you have Trump, uh, the Trumpet or in hand. Maru, Domain, uh, an Archet and it's a basic land type you control. I mean, if we don't counter it, we have a Trax on our hands. And we should counter it. Should counter it. Man, no more lies, it's really good. <laughs> that, that, that three he needs to pay really makes all the difference, right? Uh, Mirex time. And pass. So one, two, three, four, five, six. We have six mana, which is really good. Uh, still, yeah, this this is why I didn't counter the invasion. Like, I don't care about the ramp. I, can, I care about the stuff you want to ramp into. Uh, you're a go, mate. So now I know at least they have an instant or something. I guess. Oh, it can be heard. It can be. Oh, that would be bad if it actually heard. Because I don't have any counters anymore. Kind of saved everything for the Atraxa. But I can get a board clear. I have tons of board clears. So it's not unlikely with a memory deluge that I hit a board clear. Yeah, this is heard. Okay, this is really bad. Gonna take a lot of damage. I believe I'll take every single damage and just memory delusion pray I hit a board clear. And pass. So at least I know what it plays now, and I'll just sideboard for it and win next. I'll take all the damage. 
Yepity yep. Resolve. No, he be passing. Virtue. Okay, there's nothing we can do here. Uh huh. My turn. Uh, yeah, I lost. It was obvious. It was obvious. I was on the draw. No chance. See, his end was uh, perfect. There's nothing we could have done there. Literally nothing. So, get lost is out, farewell is in, devious cover up is in, lockdown is really good actually, because he has. Oh, well, I mean, we do have three. Uh, destroy evil, gotta go in. Right, horned is kind of useless. And. Tishana is really good. Tishana is really good. I guess one copy of this couldn't be bad. Or maybe you want even more control. I guess we should take these out and put more destroy cards in. I guess negates are kind of good. <sighs> I kind of want presents. I guess this is enough board presents. Yeah, this should be enough board presents. This is fine. Especially against the Atraxa. I think it's fine. Yeah, he drew perfectly. He drew the perfect hand that I was on the draw. I had zero chance, no matter what I've done. I would have lost this game. I had like zero chance. But it's fine. We sideboard for it. And we are more than ready to win the next two matchups. I mean, assuming on Flood or anything like this. So we start with a surveil, we see a land, it goes to the garbage. Yep. Indeed, this is indeed why we threw it away. I guess we'll play this one. We can take one damage, if we play something sussy. There we go. Here comes the Topiri. Masswood Knight? What? Dude, what are you running? How did you win against me? There, there, there was a Divine Intervention? What? What is this deck? And he has something in one mana because it didn't instantly pass. So he has something in one mana. Uh, does he have every single land? Swamp Mountain... Yeah, he does. Okay, so he does... Master Knight? Chad? Okay, so we know he has the enchantment, because it didn't instantly pass. So, yeah, he has the enchantment. Temporary Lockdown. This isn't really necessary. We'll take the land. And we can pass. Uh, I don't care about the invasion at all. So there's something really cool we can actually do. And we can intrude the mind and we can block, right? Can't be blocked, it's a... Reveal top 5 cards, separate them two piles, then opponent choose one of these piles, put the pile in your hand. With flying... Uh, we can just, like, kill him, but I think it's bugged. Like, I'm not sure I actually want to do that. Ah, okay. Let's try. I think it's bugged, but sure. Uh, definitely want to march on one side. And I guess we want this land as well. Make him decide. Pick his poison. We just want the march and the other land just separated. March and destroy evil. I'm pretty sure this card is bugged. We got we're gonna see it now. 
if I'm not mistaken, you can't block with a chapter you create with a token. I don't know if the trick's set or not, but it's 100% bugged. At least when I, you know, first played it. Like, uh, a few days ago. When I was testing the deck. So, le let's, let's see if Wizard actually fixed it. There's so many bugs as well. There are bugs with actually the devils from the... Burn down the house. Where they actually don't ping. Oh, they fixed it. Sick. Okay, that's really good. Uh, Celestus is always nice. We be ramping. And unfortunately, we have nothing to play. We need to discard one. I, I guess we discard it. This land, right? It's gotta be it. Get lost is really good. Can't afford to waste it. No more lies is bananas. And Ottawara can be useful. We do have Destroy Evil for the enchantment, which is great. Floating mana? What is he doing? Oh, okay, F specifically for this. Topiri. Uh, he does not have mana. I think we could just we can just get lost it, right? I don't think it's that bad. I don't think it's that bad bad at all. We should save the Omar lies. And what can we do here? Just get lost. Surge! Whoa, dude, that was surprising. Okay. That's not that bad. Uh, I guess we Ottawara and we pass, right? That's it. Day becomes night. We take action. Another Sunfall. It's kind of great. Is kind of great. So, what do we take out? I do like keeping two Sunfalls. Destroy Evil is really good. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So, Normal Lies is still effective. I guess we do remove the Sunfall. I think this is the wisest choice. Dun, 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 dun. Another invasion. Okay. So we have to counter whatever is gonna play next. Like, there's literally no other option because the No More Lies is gonna be inefficient. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We can also memory deluge. Uh, no matter what he does, we need to allow him to attack the battle here. So let's pray he tries to play the Masswood Knight, so we can counter it. Six. Oh, I mean, he can pay for it using the... This. Okay, never mind. It's fine. Totally fine. Oh, we could have deluged. Uh, decline. We Sunfall. And we play the Aganjo. We pass him. Play the Atraxa, dude. Play the Atraxa. I know you want to. Just player. Make my day.
Heard migration? Okay. Did you wait until I use my clear, dude? What? Okay. Uh, we deluge, we get another clear. 100% every single time. Yep, it yep. And, oh my god, we got a temp lockdown. That's insanely good. Even though I'm kind of tempted to soundfall here. Uh, temporary lockdown is great. Ah, uh, but it does corrupt my incubator. Uh, let's think. Let's think about it for a second. Yeah, this is, this is a smarter option. Even though temporary lockdown is so good, it's kind of a double-edged sword right now. I'd much rather do this. And have a really huge token. And that's it. <laughs> okay, we forced it out of him. Yeah, this is the leyline binding he sat on from the beginning of the game, dude. We could have destroyed evil, but yeah, we definitely want to keep the Tishana. He's sitting on a track sub extremely hard. He's clearly not casting her because he's afraid of the counter spell. A tally. Okay. In response, I Tishana. Uh, land is always nice. And I guess we are attacking. Right, and we destroy evil. Uh, destroy target enchantment, destroy... Ah, he doesn't run Planeswalker. Let's just guess, get lost. Wanna keep the destroy evil. And that's it. We can start annihilate him. Slowly chipping away at his health. Unfortunately, we do not have a counter for the Atraxa. So we'll just have to memory delusion and get something good. But we do have like two huge memory delusions. Breach. Uh, okay, that's, this was extremely unexpected. Okay, he got back the Itali, I guess. Yeah, it runs extremely greedy deck. I've learned much during my travels. Well, he's not gonna that cast her sure. well, that's for sure. Shelly's Edict. Okay, he whiffed on the Itali. That's phenomenal. He did for well. Oh, for the artifacts? Wait, but it's, it kinda screws you as well. Okay, uh, let's float mana. Memory of Illusion. Uh, let's see. March is great. March is always nice. Another Memory Illusion. It's kind of good. And that's it. Kick bite to the Celestis, though. Guards, to me. Ah, uh, memory deluge, and I guess we destroy evil, right? Just do it now, save us time, so we won't have to wait for him to attack, and we pass. That's it. Okay, now I really hope he does not have an Atraxa. Uh, Sheldred. Activate only a Sarsane if point has eight or more cards in his graveyard. Yeah, we have to... we have to exile her. Her effect didn't work, so this is great. Yeah, we'll Remember take the damage. Attack me, brother. 
Or attack this, this is also kind of nice. Wait, did he exile Graveyard? Oh wait, that was a misplay, he cannot activate sh Oh dude, this was a huge misplay. Uh, Wandering and Devious Cover-Up is phenomenal. And I guess we... Uh, we can march and discard the Idle World Delight. Which I guess is kinda great. Right? We can pay five. Ah, no, we don't have it. That's fine. No more lies! How much mana do I have? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So I can play this. Okay, I kind of prayed for a board clear there. I'll take a land. And we'll just play the Wandering Emperor. What can you do? Or we can just discard. I guess we can discard these two cards. Yeah, he's forever gonna put a plus one plus encounter. He's not gonna create another token. Wandering Emperor. We're gonna play our own. In response, he's gonna use the enchantment. Which is fine. Let's exile. I'm going to end. Oh, Surge. Uh, uh, sure. How much we can pay? We can pay to exile the token. That's fine. So, one mana, right? No, zero mana. And confirm. Submit. There we go. You got me with a Surge, brother. Yeah, you got me. Kick out. Ah, nice top deck. Let's create a samurai with a vigilance. And pass. Dude, this is the most grindy matchup I already know I'm going to win. <laughs> Which is just... Makes this like... 10 times as frustrating as you possibly can. But I, I guess this is part of playing like Control and Magic the Gathering. It's the most grindy matchup you can ever imagine. Like, literally the grindiest matchup. I have mana for everything. I have mana for counter spells. I have, like, the Wandering Emperor. Uh, first strike. Kick. Remember your training. Yeah, baby. Yep. I hope you're ready to and I'm, I'm guessing... Ah, oh, sure. Let's destroy you. We have mana for Devious cover-up, so it's fine. Da -da. Come on, man. Ca cast this Atraxa. Shelly! I cover this up. Uh, definitely not Memory Deluge, that's for sure. Wonder Gamper, March, Tishanas, and Destroy Evil is fine by me. Shuffle these cards. Put a 1 1. Show them how we greet our enemies. There we go. Big mistake. See and later. let's see, we have mana for... Yeah, we can float one. Put a counter on you. Ooh, give me land. Nice. Land is always good when you're playing control. And now we have mana for two no more lies, just in case he does have something here. Drag to the bottom, rest in peace. Yeah, he's playing Domain Control. Uh, herd Migration, I think not. Dude, this was like, literally the grindiest matchup you can ever imagine. 
create a token. And uh, we can entourage, but we can't. Un 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, uh, 11. So we can restless entourage. Yep. Indeed, we can. But we cannot use the the token, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, we can't. We are on exaxes, so we cannot pop the map token. I just want a memory deluge. Cycling, what a chat. So we had no Atraxa, dude. I was certain he had the Atraxa in his hand. Oh man, come on. Hey, it's okay, I'm just gonna let it resolve. I won't destroy evil, let me just memory delusion. Yo, I almost don't have any cards left. Uh, you know what? Nah, this is a mistake, you might get something really sick. I need something, yeah, devious cover up is great. Another restless entourage is also phenomenal. Uh, wait. Cancel. I guess we can put it on the Entourage, right? We need to save mana for the cover-up. Strike fast and strike hard. Perfect. And attack. And I guess we're not gonna pop the map token because I wanna create a Mirex unit. Brother, no way you just rage quitted after almost half an hour of gameplay. And we still have game three. No way you rage quit. I'm gonna sideboard. And oh wait, he rage quit. <laughs> oh my god, dude, we had game three. It's not even a decisive victory. Why would you rage? Oh my god, okay, I'm gonna include this match anyway, just because I wanna kinda wanna test the waters and see if you guys like watching these types of grindy control matches. Uh, but yeah, let me know if you did enjoy it. And I can't believe my opponent rage quit, we still have game 3. I mean, he could've still won, uh, but sure, GG. Oh man, we're against Bilbo Baggins. And Samwise Gamgee. Oh, this is a really nice hand, yeah, keep 100%. Planes, Mono White. Let's go! We do have temporary lockdown, which is great. So, we gotta play the tap land now, right? Uh, Tishana straight to the dumpster. Even though she's actually quite nice, but we already have one. Oh, it's Boros. I guess this makes sense. Oh, no, dude. Oh, no, dude, this is... Not gonna lie, this is a tough one. That, that was a perfect opener, but look at what I have in my hand. Look at that. Uh, we have to play this, right? Because we want to play No More Lies, just in case you have something ultra sus. Uh, yep, yeah, this cannot see play. No, no way this card is gonna see the light of day, dude. L please tap, please be greedy, dude. Don't attack with everything. Let's go, dude. Let's go. Now, what do you say? Will it concede? Bam. Everything goes away. Novice Inspector. And we top deck the land. Perfect. We can temporary lockdown, but I literally see no reason to do so. Uh, let's Tishana's. Let's stop this while putting a solid blocker on board. Yeah, we got Helix. Into Inspector. And we have another temp lockdown, which we're gonna use. So that leaves him with absolutely nothing. 
<laughs> oh, no, no, no. Oh, God. And we were on the dry as well. Oh, God. That, that almost felt bad. So, that's a temporary lockdown in. Uh, what else? Elspeth Smite in. I guess the horn lock can go. It's really slow. Our deck is pretty good against aggro anyway. I mean, negates. Uh, definitely for Will, just in case. Get lost, no more lies, temporary lockdown. Yeah, our deck is really good against his. Any way you look at it. Uh, I guess we're cutting through the mind. I do like the Errant and Jietta. They're really good. Shanatize Binder is so good, man. It's such a good card. I cannot stop from playing her in my decks. Yeah, everything is good. We just need to cut one more thing. I guess one less wandering is fine. Some Boros enjoyment, nothing wrong with that. Dude, this is a really nice hand. Holy, Andy Mulligan wants, this is great. Do the temp lockdown, Tishanas, and get lost. That is crazy. He had such a banging opener uh, last game, but we had a, an answer for everything. I mean, the no more lies is crazy. You know, turn one play, that is sick. Main phase reinforcement, the average ad. Uh, let's see. We can play untapped until 4, we can entourage now. I, I, I much rather prefer entouraging now, since we don't have a really solid 2 mana play. I don't think we're gonna use get lost anyway. Yeah, okay, this was the right decision. Uh, that's the seat crossed moment. We be passing. Reinforcement? Okay. This is fine. So we can Tishanas, if he plays the Recruiter. There we go. Damn, this card is so good, man. This card is so good. Aaron Knight, of course. This kind of sucks. This kind of sucks, not gonna lie, not gonna lie. So we do have to temporary lock down here. And we might as well just play the tap land straight to the dumpster. No attacks. That way at least we're setting ourselves for, for well. Main phasing this, but you can play another knight. Oh wait, it's not legendary. Oh, this is insane, dude. Ooh, okay, we're gonna take quite a hit. We're gonna take quite a hit, but we do have for well. So we might as well just play the tap land, right? Yeah, since we can't for well, we might as well just play the tap land. We can entourage though. We can entourage, so this is good. But we can also get lost. Which I guess is better. Well, this is gonna stink. One of this. I block. Holy dude, that was quite a lot of damage. So we need to destroy enchantment first. And then we have to exile all creature, artifacts, and graveyards. Wait, what? Oh, the order was wrong? Wait, but the order was right! Uh, okay, never mind. Uh, dude, I was 100% sure I clicked enchantment first. That, that's odd. That's odd, bro. Okay. Uh... Uh, yeah, I guess, sure. I mean, I, I was 100% sure I was correct with the order. 
Maybe I did it wrong? I mean, enchantment was first. Or should I have clicked enchantment last? Uh, keep. Okay, I mean, at least now I know I did something wrong. I, I guess I did the order wrong, but sure. We'll know for next time, so it's fine. He didn't end up mulliganing once and I have a sick hand. Such a good hand. Give the epic here. Surveilling, if it's a non-land, this is... Okay, this is a non-land, non but this is a good one. So I actually kind of want to greed the Celestis. Wow, already you use the blood token. That's crazy. Sure. Uh, yeah, no smite here. So I guess we can be greedy and we can Celestis. I really want the one extra mana. Also give him a chance to play something into the temporary lockdown here. Aaron Knight is okay. Uh, what can we do here? Well, unfortunately, I don't think we can do much. So we pass him. And we draw and discard. This is a great draw. We're gonna discard one Tishana's. Maybe he'll greet and play another errand, knight errand. This is fine. Uh, obviously, we're gonna do that. I'm gonna put a stop to this. We're gonna block. Using this, and we're gonna cast the Elspeth Smite here. Maybe as protection. Oh man, I voice cracked so bad here. Holy shit. No protection. Great. Oh, that's perfect. That's exactly what I wanted to see. So, temp lockdown. For sure. We're kind of struggling here. In response, he's gonna pop his... Blood token. But he can only play this card this turn, right? So I guess it's fine. Because he lost something. Oh no, we, until the end of the next turn. Oh, that's kind of sick. Man, the Knight Errant is one of the best cards they ever printed in the history of Magic for aggro players. Okay, let's pray play something cheap here. Thank God, dude. I have another temporary lockdown. And that's a Celestis trigger, right? Yeah, it is. Uh, let's take action, see what we get. Seed Chrome. We don't need it. It's fine. Nice. We got Entourage, it's perfect. Well, this is the second one. And he can pop the blood token in response, which is super sick. Okay, as long as he can't attack, this is totally fine. Oh, haste. Uh, yeah, I guess I do want to deal with him. But I actually can wait. I, I don't want to use... I don't want to discard this. I'll have to wait. Yeah, this dude is Omega Lucky. Also, his deck has infinite value. I mean, infinite draw. Well, mine doesn't. Which is Omega Unfortunate. Yeah, let's pass. We'll take the life. No need for the draw. Our hand is pretty good.
Ajá. Yep, it, yep. Yep, it, yep. Easiest block of my entire life. And I do have exactly two mana to exile it in case he has something in his hand he wants to cast here. So that's really good. No, nice. We just blocked. That's perfect. Yeah, the enforcement, nothing good. We can do against that, really. But at least now we have a blocker. Uh, two marches is great. Yep, we're not going to attack. Just passing. And... Lock you. It's fine. As long as we don't do anything here. Okay. He wants this to go through. Yeah, I don't want to take four damage. One, two, three. Auto pay. I only want to take one damage, my man. And I can even, like, kill the token, but I'd rather just save it. Oh, I flooded. It's really good for us. Ah, oh, yeah, we need every single mana we can put our hands on. We pass in. There we go. Murex! We do have Entourage for defense. But we do want a memory deluge, that's for sure. Block, take one. I think he has a helix in hand, that's why I don't want to get too lower down. But it's fine, because we're gonna memory deluge. And hopefully DBF's cover up something will be really nice. Yeah, this is the helix we knew he had. I just assume he doesn't have two. If he has two, that's giga lucky, dude. Ah, uh, no more lies and a seed cr I guess two no more lies. Is Omega phenomenal? Oh, this is a legendary. This sucks. So he's gonna create a Mirex, which is a huge problem for us. But I guess we can defend with the Restless Entourage. So let's see what happens. Novice Inspector is fine. I really want a Memory Deluge as well. I guess we, like, have to risk it, right? Witchstalker Frenzy. <laughs> I mean, that's kind of funny. Wait, we can... What can we do here? We can play... I guess we can counter it, but I kind of want to save it. Wait, if we Restless... One, two, three. Then I'm left with three more mana. So this is fine. Yeah. We can literally... Play this... And Restless Entourage and defend against these two. Oh, this is kind of funny. He actually made my second Ayrton and Gilda actually useful. Oh, this is such a close matchup. And I get to heal. Yeah, let's run this card, see what happens. Perfect. Uh, take out the... I guess the March is pretty useless at this point. Nice a land and a survey land as that. Get lost, we don't need that. And pass. We need that memory deluge, and we need to switch. Decline, okay, we're healing. We're healing, we're out of lightning helix range. This is exactly what I wanted. Gleeful demolition. Uh, let's see. 
One, two, three, four. Okay, I had two no more. <laughs> I didn't wanna know, no. Oh God. Okay, dude, this was so intense. This was such an intense match. Holy, I had to really think there. Oh my God, dude. Oh my God, I really had to think there. Wow, that was crazy. That was crazy fun match. GG though, GG.